Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. It legit feels weird not having to say Dark Moon behind that, so... <laughs> well, when we last left off, EGAD finally gave us our Boo Radar, while also opening up the... <laughs> while also opening up a little shop that he has down in the lab. And I think that last episode, was it also the one where we went back to level 2 and got the chef? Yeah, the chef was after the mall cop. So, anyways, now we've got the button for, elevate for floor 4, and we are going to the great stage. I really wonder what kind of... <laughs> eccentric character we're gonna run into here. You know, I find it weird. Every single day I get off work, I tell myself you should turn on your switch as soon as you get back home and just spend the night playing and recording Luigi's Mansion. Hey, the, uh, <laughs> the elevator arrow was musical note. Thank you, Egad. Wouldn't want this to be a tense moment or anything. Hello. Hey, Luigi. If you find yourself needing to return to the lab quickly, I've got the perfect solution for you. The Pixelator? I've streamlined the transfer system just for you, and all you have to do is access the VB and select Lab, and we'll be face-to-face -face in an instant. It's the Pixelator. The system goes both ways, too. When you're ready to go back to your adventures, the system will return you to the same place you left. So it's just a temporary tether and not, like, an immediate means of escape. And that's all. Keep the transfer system in mind up while you're out there exploring. How much you want to bet that the transfer system is going to be part of a puzzle that I need to do when it seems like I've gotten stuck and can't get back, but I'm not even going to remember that I have it. Because EGAD chooses the worst time to tell us about these th sort of things. And I'm not that upset about basically ripping the leaves off this these plants. They're plastic anyway. Symbolism! could have sworn that this painting was just a tarp. Anyway, I keep telling myself to play more Luigi's Mansion 3 as soon as I get home, but I never do. And now, it's already past Is it just me, or does that base kind of in the picture kind of look like it has a face and a mouth? Wow. Yay! Stop playing. Hey, a popcorn machine. Three gold mice in a row, three gold mice there they go, marching down the street single file, to a calypso beat all the while, they're looking for the cat, the cat that swallowed the rat, 
They want to show that cut the other to the three blind mice. <laughs> Raven, your popcorn stand is popping! <gasps> it's a gem oh. cut into a musical note! That's not even mathematically possible! Okay, I know I saw money up there, but the camera isn't panning out anymore. So I can't see up there and I can't collect it. The ladies' room? How scandalous. <gasps> Gold spider! Aha! You think that being in the mirror would fool me? You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to fool me. Someone tried to pass a tuba. That, uh... That looks painful. Uh -huh. I wonder, though. He automatically pointed down. I didn't do anything to point down. Yes, sir, I am a gall darn genius. They were wiping their hands with money. You're up, Googe. Gents room. Where's the towel dispenser? That is an incredibly clever place to hide something. There's a vault in the toilet. I don't know how this works. This makes no sense and it's and yet it's working. Dang it. Are these maracas? You found maracas in there?
Yes, yes. This thing doesn't have enough marquee value. Dang it. There's the other symbol. Grab it, Luigi! Gotcha! What the? Why is that not working? That's it. I don't even get it past the ropes. You know, game, just because you can program something in doesn't mean that you should. Because if something does nothing, then what's the point of it being there? Alright, let's time time to find out what kind of thespian we'll be running into. I would literally give the game so many points if they had marquees depicting that the Fanto of the Opera would be playing in the theater. Ah, just a piano recital. Melody Pianissima, is that you? Toad! Looks like we're about to be done with the first area, boys. 
piggy bank. Wait a second. Back up, Gooigi! <laughs> Screw it! This game is a lot more destructive than the other two were. I mean, Luigi mostly cleaned up the other two places. He didn't break anything. At least nothing that wasn't already broken. Ludwig von, von Beethoven. He's fiery. As a flaming ghost. You know, not to basically distract from the oncoming boss fight that's about to happen, but this ghost, considering that he's a pianist and he's literally on fire, it actually reminds me of an episode of Kolshak the Night Stalker. Anybody remember Kolshak the Night Stalker? It was a TV series from the 70s starring Darren McGavin as Carl Kolshak. He works for INS News in Chicago, and by some extraordinary coincidence... He ends up basically stumbling across supernatural events, basically making him a quasi-paranormal investigator. He's basically encountered everything from vampires, werewolves, witches, evil cults, <laughs> witch doctors, uh, an ancient monsters from folklore, invisible men, ghosts... And he's even encountered an alien on multiple occasions. So, anyway, the episode that I'm talking about here basically features a ghost who literally get who literally kills people by lighting people on fire. And this ghost wants to steal the identity of a famous piano player so that he can basically come back to life and live and live this man's life. He wants to steal the man's body, in a sense. And Co and Kolshak has to figure out a way to protect this man and stop the ghost. So, it seems kind of ironic that the way that the ghost kills people by lighting them on fire, and he's trying to steal the body of a famous piano player. So, and that's how we came to this portion of, the, of my TED Talk. <laughs> You know, not to basically discount your strategy, Friedrich, but eventually you're going to run out of seats. He's sending the entire East Wing after me! People really need to clean up after themselves. The crescendo. <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? <laughs> it's 
So you're sending your goons out to fight me? Or should I say your goobs out to fight me? Alright boys, come together now, like we rehearsed. Plie! Plie! These are not theater approved. Form up. What are you going to do now, Salieri? He's going Mozart! Oh, great. I'm fighting the piano now. He's a possessor. I don't know what your name is, but I'm going to call you 88 Teeth. Bombs? You throw bombs at me? And I have to use them? Okay, I think I might know what to do. Okay. Okay. Luigi has the strength to do that. Your performance was on fire, but I think you really need to chill out. Good, good. He reminds me of Gigan from Goji Man. Oh my god, Gigan do. Alright, watch the impact of the third jump. Oh, you do need to shun to to sh to stun him. Dang it. So Luigi didn't have enough strength to pull a couch on his own, but he can friggin' throw an entire grand piano? It's 
time fear fi Explode that Oh man, the poor thing. I feel sorry for the piano because it's beat to hell. You know these things are worth thousands of dollars? I know it's trying to kill me and everything, but out of all the things that I've damaged in this hotel, this... Come on. <laughs> On some days, you just can't get rid of a bomb. If I take one more hit, it's over. I destroyed the piano! This is your ninth symphony! Come on out and fight like a man! <laughs> Bravo! Encore! <laughs> Mwah! Buffle! A smash! Floor six. Yeah. Oh, bravo! Ha <laughs> Huh? Poulter! What about the stairs? Poulter, don't you dare! Ah. I thought that he was about to pee. You know, it could be quite tragic that that guy basically is a flaming ghost, because... It could be indicative that he died because the theater that he was in was caught on fire. Because that tends to happen. Those places tend to be fire traps. It's why the fire marshal would only allow a certain number of people. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't take the opportunity to call him Bach. But then again, I don't know if Bach was actually a piano player. I think that he was a composer. He would have to. So, I think he would have to have some kind of talent. Wait, it's missing keys. It's, you're missing teeth. Wait. This is why you shouldn't put... You shouldn't put the interact button and the dark light button on the same de Let's try this again. What? Huh? Oh. What? Precious. Hey, I wonder if I can use the toad like the toads in the previous game, where... a maraca? 
Like, if you have to escort them back to the lab, you could basically, like, pick them up with the poltergust and shoot them. That's how I'm getting into the vault. Go, ghost! Come on, you belong to me now. You belong to me now. Don't go. We have so much in common. You're made of gold, and I want gold. You were made for me. Uh. Gold finger. Pretty girl. Beware of his heart of gold. His heart is cold. He loves only gold. All right, let's get Toad out of there. Toad, you've been framed, and I'm here to prove you innocent. Hey, Toad. Where's Lemon Drop and Blueberry? <laughs> oh! Yay! <laughs> Together again. Come on, buddy. It looks like you rescued one of your friends, Luigi. What? Seriously, Luigi? What are you doing? You don't have the a phone. It'd probably be best if your friend stayed with me e, here in the lab. You should take the toad back to the elevator. Come on, buddy. Yay! Just like old times, huh? He actually seems a bit more plussed about it. And this is how I'm getting my piggy bank. Toad, you're going to do something for me. I'm not gonna like it either! Toad? Toad, get back up there and pick up my money. Toad, if I miss it on that pearl, because of you! Linkzilla then proceeded to murder the Toad. Seriously, was that supposed to happen? <laughs> Although I do wonder... No, there's nowhere, nowhere for me to shoot him up there that he can actually walk. Wait a second, are those busts of Bowser? Man, I'm gonna make you work off that debt for that pearl that you made me miss. I hope that hurt. Wait a second. How could I be so stupid? I forget mechanics too easily.
Toad, you're an arch criminal. How do we crack this safe? Finally, I couldn't do it because Toad was in the way. Unbelievable, all this time I thought that I friggin needed Toad to get back here. And apparently I had Toad in my back pocket. Although I do wonder, there is one section on floor, uh, what was that, three, I think? The floor that we were just on with the shops mm -hmm. that I couldn't basic- Okie dokie. <laughs> Wait, Bye where's he going? Dude. You have to escort him back, you know. Helen. <clears throat> oh good, she has a cat. Man, this lady is personally bent by Luigi. Luigi, you managed to find one of your friends. How many does that leave, though? I see. Two toads and Princess Peach. Oh, and your big brother, too. He's still captured. Seems like there's a bit more work to do, wouldn't you say? Well, good luck. <laughs> Bye -bye. Uh -huh. Well, I tell you, Pumba, this stinks. I mean, basically I rescued Toad, and I pretty much did everything that there is to do on this floor, but the problem is, is that I'm still missing three gemstones.
Yeah, that's how you do the puzzle. I couldn't do it because Toad was in the way, so I switched to Gooigi in order to do it. Because Toad only follows Luigi around, he doesn't trust the green, the goo one. I was about to say the green one, but then I realized that Luigi is the green one. Yep, there's basically nothing left to do on this hall, but there's still so many gems to collect. Three at the very least. So, where do I get them from? <sighs> oh well. We fought a big boss, and we managed to rescue one of our friends. I think that that's enough for one night, but I think that we should go back to the lab and reconnoiter with Egad. I wonder. Nah. Even if we did manage to hit these speakers, there's no way we could pull them down. Unless... Do I get no achievement for reuniting the symbols? Well... I'd say that this floor has been thoroughly disappointing. Let's head back to the lab and see if Toad has any unique dialogue for us. And then we can check out that ghost we captured. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Yeah. Wait a second. Shouldn't there be a boo on this level? Oh, yeah. I gotta go back and check for the boos. There's only one room that I haven't been to since I beat the boss, and that's the ladies' room. So, if the music starts playing. No, no music. Still, that's impressive that somebody tried to pass that tuba. Nothing. Man, it's getting so a guy can't find any blasted booze around here. What do I have to do to get my hands on some booze? I want to take a shot at a boo. Take a shot at booze. Even just a drop of booze.
Hey Toad, what are you doing up there? Really? Are we just gonna... He's just gonna be hanging out up there? Oh well. Might as well round off this episode by checking them out. Although I am disappointed that this game isn't showcasing the special ghosts that I've been collecting. Even though that is literally a category. Rare ghosts. Are you telling me that gold and diamond ghosts somehow don't count? Like, what does this game consider rare? Goob. Hammer. Ooh, sir. Okay. Check out the boss ghosts. Steward, Chambrea, Crawler, Chef Souffle, and Amadeus Wolfgeist. <laughs> Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. <laughs> That's who he's based on. See, I told you he was going Mozart by the end. Although it's ironic, is that I start out by calling this guy Beethoven, and yet when I say he's going Mozart, his hair actually becomes crazy like Beethoven's. <laughs> well, I think that <sighs> that about sums it up. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a comment on the comment section below. Like it, share it with your friends. Keep up to date with more Luigi's Mansion coming at you in the future by smashing the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. As always, I'll catch you girls and ghouls in the next video. Later!